Hi, I'm Janie and this is Holly. We're talking today about vacations and uh, after you've gotten a divorce or you're going yes. through a divorce, how yeah. again, you're redefining your world and planning a vacation as a single person is a lot different. It's daunting. I, you know, travel and vacation time, vacation time is important period for, for us for health. But for me, travel was really a priority in my life. And the thought of traveling somewhere by myself after being married for several decades was terrifying, yeah, especially in other country. Well, do you know what? Just as you said that, it brought up, I remember my first couple of times in the airport alone. Oh, yeah. You know, I had mm -hmm. traveled alone before, mm -hmm. but when it came to taking a vacation, just yeah. being in the airport alone, I just felt like, again, so vulnerable. Yeah. So working with calming my system to know that I'm okay, I'm a capable adult. Right. Yes, it's sad, and there's a whole world out there. Yeah, well, and I think... Two, when our when our systems are so overloaded, overwhelmed, Traumatized. planning, yeah, planning a vacation. I mean, even though you said airports, and I was thinking, getting to the airport is a whole nother thing. Like you don't have a ride, or you need to arrange for a ride, or maybe your partner always did the logistics around things and booked your tickets and all of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much that as a single person you're gonna have to learn and mm -hmm. jump into. And it could be something that stops you in your tracks and you say, I'm not gonna do it, it's too much. Mm -hmm. But I do highly recommend it. I, I ended up taking um, kind of an organized trip, you know, that was a, a women's retreat thing where I oh. flew to Costa Rica and I joined a retreat. Mm -hmm. So I just had to get myself there, um, get to the airport, get to, from the uh, airplane to the resort which was, you know, challenging mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and scary, but, but also really felt good. Like it gave me a sense of control and accomplishment that I really needed. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a nice idea. And I did a few of those too, where you go to a destination, there's other people there, whether it's, you know, again, you're, whether you're doing uh, self-esteem or you're doing underwater basket weaving, <laughs> whatever, just some kind of a group that we're going to this mm -hmm. place. Um, you know, I had a girlfriend go to Mexico and, and just take all cooking classes. Oh, that's how, fun. How, yeah, how fun is that? Uh, so, that, you know, the um, Anne Lamott said, you only have to see as far as the headlight. So when it comes to traveling mm -hmm. and your system is overloading going, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, and kind of shutting down, you just need to figure out, how am I gonna get to the airport? Okay, how am I gonna figure out the gate? How, what's my car rental? You know, you just, park. yeah, 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 yeah. That right. step by step by step. You know, the other option is you book it with a friend or you book it with your sibling or you mm -hmm. go with a parent, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we get so locked into vacation time being spent with our partner. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. and, but you're, you have freedom now. Yeah. Yeah. You can spend your vacation time however you want. Right. And, you know, I spent um, a couple of weeks in Thailand by myself. I had, you and I went and, we, and I had my brother meet me, but I also enjoyed the time by myself, meeting other travelers. Talking and, to people Right, about trying their new things. Yeah. So don't be afraid to travel by yourself because you've always got a book, you've always got a journal, mm -hmm. and... Um, you know, people, especially other fellow travelers, are interested in getting together and meeting you. And good point. You're creating new opportunities. So, it, you know, and if you don't have a lot of money, camping is always available. And that is so restorative. Absolutely. So, or a vacation at home. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a staycation, mm -hmm. especially if you plan fun things around your own city. Mm -hmm. Things that mm -hmm. you haven't tried before, restaurants that you want to eat at, right. all that kind of stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not that you have to have a lot of money to go on a trip. Yeah, yeah. You can do that. You can do your staycation however yeah. you want. As long as you're disciplined. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not that disciplined. I, I, if I'm home, I have a tendency to do chores. But No, no, no chores. Yeah, but I enjoyed camping also. So just to get, uh, again, a cheap vacation and a Time way out. to to get my brain out of the routine of the loss right. through the divorce. Right. It's, you, a, it's, it's a healing time. Yeah, and that's so important to give yourself that space uh, because you will need downtime whether you give it to yourself or not. True. So take it and enjoy it.